NFTs are selling like crazy these days. I need to get into this action, but how do I get started? So, today I'll show you how to generate 10,000 images for NFTs without any coding with Figma. I created this cute and simple slime character. It also looks like a dumpling, but it doesn't matter. The basic idea of these images are, it's combined in different layers to have unique variations of it. So, I'll give you an example here that it has eyes, a mouth, body and a background. So I have some different layers that are topped with each other and it would give me different variations of this image. To create NFT images in Figma, you would need a plugin to do so. There is a plugin called NFT Generator. But unfortunately, there is a limit on how many you could actually generate. So for the ones who want to create 10,000 images for free, I created my own script that you could actually do 10,000 NFT images. You would use a plugin called Scripter to execute the code I provide. I'm going to show you both versions of using the NFT generator and the custom code I made. So to create more than 10,000 slime variations, I needed a lot of different backgrounds, different colors of the body, some different eyes, different mouth, and little add-ons. The first thing you need to do is turn these into variants. You can make each of them as components and make them into variants, or you can just use create component set. This is the faster method. So I'll rename this to background. The first background is done. The body here, select all of them, and then create component set. Now I have the body. The variants are ready. Now let's make this slime frame. Take one background, copy it in, take the body, take the eyes, the mouth, and some of the add-ons. I'll just align them together. And then what I'll do is make them into a component and name it base. Now it's very simple. So what you see here is that it's inside a component and I put each component instances here, which is a variant. Now what I need to do is start the NFT generator. And now you see I only have 19 left. So let's just try it with only 10 and see how it works. You just press generate. Okay, so you got 10 images like so. But as promised, I want to generate 10,000 images, right? So I'll show you how to do that. First, run Scripter. And I would provide you with this code, which would do the same thing as the plugin. What you need to do is limit the amount, how many you would like, and the, the column numbers. So how many columns that you would see in one row. For test purposes, I would just do 10 and 10, just to show you how it works. I'll just drag it out. It's actually the same way that it works. Um, it's in a frame, which is a component, and you have all the layers inside. So I just need to run that. There is a play button here, which runs the script. Now you see you have 10 NFT images, but for free without any limits. Before going further, I'll show you how to add code into Scripter. It's very easy. Just go to Scripter and then press the new script. Name your script by double clicking and say NFT gen. Then I'll assume that you already copied the code in your clipboard. You just need to copy it in. Then you have your code already there. Now let's try maybe 100. I'll change the number to 100 and then run. You got 100 images. Now let's go for 
10,000. So I would go for 10,000. I need more columns. Um, maybe I make it into 300. Play this. It will take a while to generate 10,000. So let's see how what happens here. It looks it's frozen, but it's actually running. You just need to wait for it for a while until you see all the generated NFT images. The script is complete. And now you see lots of slimes. Now you see 10,000 slime images, like so. So for the next steps, you should export these images out from Figma and then mint them and create into an actual NFT. 